Hello Builders, welcome to another video here on Majestic.cloud. My name is Laszlo and today I'm going to tell you what S3 replication is and I will show you how to set it up. Before we start, if you are new to the channel then please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss uh, some great tutorials that are coming to this channel. Before I show you how to use S3 Replication, I want to just quickly tell you what uh, S3 Replication is in case you don't know about this feature. So S3 Replication is a feature in S3 that enables automatic asynchronous copying of objects from one S3 bucket to another. The destination bucket could be in the same AWS region, in another AWS region, this is called cross-region replication, and it could be even in a completely different AWS account. So, what are some use cases for um, uh, S3 replication? So first of all, um, backing up data. For example, uh, making sure that uh, even in case um, something happens to the uh, original bucket, your data is preserved in another bucket. Um, so that's one use case. The other one is to minimize latency. Uh, maybe you have users distributed globally and you want to make uh, available the files close to your users so they have lower latency. So in this case, you would copy with this replication feature the, fi uh, the files from um, a bucket, let's say, in Europe to a bucket in uh, North America. So that way you make it uh, available to your users in North America and they will have lower latency. Then you could have compliance requirements that say that you have to keep the data in different locations uh, in case something happens. Also, data sovereignty rules might um, say that you have to have multiple copies, but they should be um, in the same country or something like that. Then you could also use this for data sharing between environments. Let's suppose you uh, have a production environment and a development environment, and you always want to make um, uh, available the files from the production environment to the development environment, so your developers can work on the latest uh, uh, data. So you could achieve that one as well with um, uh, S3 replication. But let's not uh, do this uh, PowerPoint. Uh, let's see how we can actually set this up in the AWS console. So here I am in the AWS Management Console, in the S3 console, and I will create two buckets. Let's create a bucket, let's call this Majestic Cloud Source, and this will be in US East 1, the US East 1 region. And um, one thing I will need is bucket versioning, but I'm not going to enable it just to show you how it will require it later. So let's scroll down and uh, let's create this bucket so this is this will be our source bucket you see majestic cloud source in uh, us east one let's create another one and this will be majestic cloud destination and this will be in another region so it will be a cross-region replication and let's put it in europe let's put it in the frankfurt the german region so here, again, I'm going to ignore bucket versioning, but uh, we will need this. So let's create the bucket. And now I will go to my uh, source bucket. And I will upload the file. So let's go here and upload the file. I have two files prepared here. My initial file. So I'm going to upload this. So because we didn't set replication yet um, on this bucket, this file is not replicated anywhere. Now let's close this and uh, let's go to management. So here you can find the, the replication uh, rules. So you can set up the replication rules. If you see here replication rules, let's create a replication rule. And I'm going to um, 
call this default rule. And you see I'm uh, warned here that replication requires versioning to be enabled for the source bucket. Uh, and I can enable bucket versioning right from here. So let's click it. Enable, okay. And then this rule uh, is with the status enabled. And I can set uh, a limit to, uh, on the scope of this rule. So I could say, okay, I only want to uh, replicate, for example, anything that is in the uh, first folder or not first, uh, any, any folder I put here or prefix, it's called a, a prefix here in AWS, uh, then it would only replicate that. But I want to apply this to all the objects in the bucket. Now I have to specify a destination bucket and this bucket can be in my own account or it could be in an entirely different account, AWS account. But I, in that case I have to specify the account ID, the bucket name and I also have to uh, set up some um, roles that uh, have the right permissions to do this kind of um, uh, replication. But I could even change the object ownership to the destination bucket owner. But I'm going to choose a bucket in this account and uh, let's click browse here and it will be the destination. Let's choose this path and it, again it warns me replication requires versioning to be enabled for the destination bucket. So let's enable bucket versioning there as well. And then I have to uh, either choose from an existing IAM roles, uh, enter an IAM role RM or create a new role. So we will create a new role. This role will define the permissions um, and it will allow us to make this replication because we need permissions to do this. Uh, we could uh, enable encryption. We can, can change the storage class for the replicated objects. And actually this is a great feature because let's say uh, the files that you're replicating for backup purposes, you're not accessing them often. So you want to save on the cost. In, it, in that case, you would choose standard infrequent access. And um, basically this way you would pay uh, less for your backed up file in the replicated bucket. You could also set up replication time control. This will uh, make sure that the files are replicated um, in uh, 15 minutes at most. Because replication is not instantaneous, it takes a bit. Um, depending on different factors. And if you uh, set this replication time control, you're guaranteed uh, in 99.99% per .99, uh, of the cases that it will happen in 15 minutes. But this has additional cost, so don't enable this unless you really need it. And we have some other options. We could uh, replicate the delete markers, for example, uh, and so on. Now let's click Save on this. And it will create a new role for us. And it asks us if we want to replicate existing objects. Because only future objects will be replicated. The ones that are here are not replicated by default. For that, uh, we can choose here that we want to replicate them. And in that case, it will create a batch operations job. And it will uh, replicate existing objects uh, with this, that batch job. But I'm going to choose no, do not replicate existing objects. Click on submit. <clears throat> and I have my uh, replication rule here. Now let's go back to buckets and see the contents. So on the source bucket, I have this initial file. And on the destination, sorry, here on the destination, I don't have anything yet. So let's go to the source bucket and let's upload another file. Click on my second file and click on upload. And let's close this. And now uh, I have my second file here. And if I open it and um, I look here on replication status, it says pending. So it will be replicated. It's not yet replicated, but it will be. So let's go to destination and it's still not replicated. Uh, usually this takes, um, as I said, a few minutes, depending on different factors. Uh, but at one moment it will happen. Um, let's wait for that. 
I will pause the video until that happens. So almost 10 minutes passed and let's look again in Majestic Cloud destination. And you can see that uh, this mysecondfile.txt is there. Uh, it was replicated in the storage class standard uh, infrequent access. And if we go back to the source bucket and click on the second file, it says replication status completed. So this is how replication works. Of course, if you do um, replication across accounts, um, it's a bit more uh, complex. You have to set up the roles um, to allow this um, correctly. And um, yeah, this way you could back up your files, uh, set up all kinds of uh, workflows for your environments, uh, may be compliant and minimize latency. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel and see, hope to see you soon uh, with another video here on majestic.cloud.